Macedonia is speaking to a deal for Fazal, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the um, 5th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where do we stand? Uh, where is the market headed? Let's try and uh, calculate and uh, try and forecast. Okay, in terms of economic data at present, the uh, stats as we stand, the FTSE up 727.365, DAX up to 12.451, so both positive, CAC positive as well. Uh, you have the FTSE mid more or less flat, the IMX slightly negative, and the stock 600 more or less flat as well. Asian markets overnight uh, certainly shook off the uh, concerns over North Korea. You had the Nikkei down, well, sorry, Nikkei higher up 50 points, the Hang Seng up 0.5, and the Shanghai an impressive 0.76% overnight. So again, like I said, North Korean concerns certainly uh, shaken off. Concerns over the Nasdaq as well, certainly shaken off too, okay. Uh, in terms of economic data, you had weaker Chinese data out overnight, stronger UK BRC data out overnight, uh, Aussie data slightly stronger, the uh, PMI or market services PMI from uh, Nikkei or in the, uh, Japan certainly stronger. The only weakness really was the, uh, the actual Chinese cakes in PMI services coming in weaker. We had um, Italian data this morning, slightly weaker, but the rest of the market are overwhelmingly positive. You had the uh, situation in Spain, certainly stronger, the PMI markets, services PMI, and the composite PMI out of France and Germany and the Eurozone all coming in stronger than expected. UK certainly continues to uh, be weaker with the market services PMI at 53.4 and productivity crashing as well. And therefore, that will lead the uh, BOE certainly to uh, err on the side of uh, dovishness from my perspective because the overwhelming number of data certainly is indicating weaker. Okay, so uh, the uh, US data is out in the next 90 minutes. You have Redbook, ISM, factory orders, and uh, economic optimism data as well. FOMC minutes at 7 p.m. will be a game changer, and you have the API crude oil data out in later on. Oil prices certainly seem to be doing well. Uh, they have pulled back, though. Uh, slight pullback here. Let's just quickly bring up the price of oil. Okay, crude oil, so certainly a reversal there on the daily chart, but again, it's an impressive rally nevertheless. We are now coming into support though on oil, so bear that in mind. So looking to potentially bounce it. Okay, now in terms of the uh, uh, the uh, technical picture, let's see exactly where we are technically. Let's go to the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, daily chart trading sideways, consolidating here, holding that key diagonal trend line. 60 minute chart consolidating here. From my understanding and my interpretation, we're certainly going to push higher, especially with stronger European data. And obviously given the fact that Mr. ECB Courier Certainly sent the euro lower on the back of comments that uh, QE policy will remain the same. There will be no change, and that certainly will help risk sentiment overall. That's my understanding and interpretation. So again, uh, the German DAX certainly seems like it's building a base here and certainly wants to start to push and thrust higher from my interpretation. In terms of the French CAC, let's see exactly where we stand here. The daily chart, the French CAC, we've certainly hold previous resistance equal support. Looking to bounce. If we do bounce, then we are looking to go up to uh, 5,250, 5,300. 5, 60 minute chart at the moment, we're consolidating on the right shoulder, so really consolidation sideways. Again, Mr. ECB Korea confirming that uh, monetary policy by the ECB will remain dovish, and that certainly is helping sentiment as well, so bear that in mind. In terms of the 10 minute chart, let's just quickly go to the smaller time frame. Again, you're just consolidating here. We did have a, we did sell off initially uh, on the um, Sorry, we bounced initially, we reversed, and then we've just been trading sideways. We have the unfilled gap below at 5,120. The only way that will close if the euro really starts to appreciate, so bear that in mind. FTSE 100 certainly bounced very impressively from 7,350. Okay, on the back of obviously weaker UK data helping the uh, the actual, uh, not helping, but certainly uh, arguing towards a, uh, uh, a dovish policy. Okay. Okay, so certainly arguing towards a dovish policy. So again, you're looking at next resistance being 7385, looking to potentially test that resistance zone again on the FTSE 100. In terms of the 60 minute chart, if you look at the FTSE in the 60 minutes, you're certainly consolidating here, uh, looking to potentially break out on the next level, you're looking at 7450 on the upside, okay, on the FTSE 100. In terms of the Euro stocks, again, to the bottom at 3.470, looking to bounce back up to 3.495. Okay, that's what my, my initial target would be. Inverted head and shoulders formation, certainly brewing here and looking to potentially pop. Okay, so certainly bullish on European equities, given the fact that you have an easy monetary policy, you have stronger economic data. And from my perspective, everything indicates higher on European equities. Okay, so I think that's a summation, really, of uh, this morning's price action. 
Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly visit TradeSignal for the latest app. Goodbye now.